Hey everyone, before this video begins, I just want to let you guys know about the best trade deal in the history of trade deals maybe ever. Right now, Humble Bundle, your favorite website, has an awesome City Skyline sale where you can get City Skylines and every single DLC there is for just $20. That's $186 value for just $20. Don't miss out on this. It's active until October 5th, so you do have a little bit of time to get it, but make sure to hurry up. And of course, as always, you can go ahead and adjust your donation right here. You can go ahead and set a custom amount you can give it all to paradox to thank them for such an amazing game you can give it all to charities and there are these three amazing charities that humble bundle supports you can give it all to humble bundle for organizing such an amazing deal or of course you could give it all to me as well it helps support the channel and uh, it helps me pay my bills so definitely go ahead and get city skylines and every single dlc for just $20 instead of almost 200 click the link in the description or in the pinned comment below Let's move on with the video. Why? Why make it easier when it can always be harder? Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the releasable challenge, the challenge we play every nation you for that doesn't exist in 1444. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're once again back with the Ming Vassal as the nation of Meow. Meow is a nation that can be released from Ming, obviously we pop out of four provinces right here in this region and the best part about playing Meow is that we start off with a gold mine that's right we get to take control of Ming's only gold mine which should help fund our expansion and uh, the eventual destruction of the Ming Empire now since the last update where uh, Ming got updated playing the Ming releasables has actually uh, been made well not easy but doable since I had to delay Dolly for so long but uh, after we played Dolly last time man I know the exact formula that you need to do in order to break free from Ming we got some very cool Cool missions these Ming releasables you know the Chinese kingdoms they have very cool missions pretty good national ideas too and after Ming deals with the rebels lowers their mandate by taking the first you know reform and stuff like that we can get a few of these guys that are also their tributaries to support our independence like some of the guys down here and up here and then we should be able to break free from Ming pretty easily make them not exist and become a great power so uh yeah so uh yeah there's our second Ming releasable in a long line of Ming releasables so let's jump in as Ming and then as Meow I never thought I'd say the word meow so much in a video, but uh, here we are. All right, all right, here we are as Ming, the current state of Ming affairs, blah, blah, blah. Listen, I, I really don't care about that game. So let's go ahead and click here, create a subject. And there is meow right there. Play as the release subject. Boom, there we are. This is where we popped out of. And this time we're animus. Two Ming releasables and still no confusion. All right, I guess we'll take it. Let's take a look at the starting guy. Three, four, one. not something I wanted to happen. We want to have good mill skills so we can get a uh, mill tech ahead of Ming, but you know what? It's not really a problem. Obviously, we're going to be a Chinese kingdom right here. Let's go ahead and introduce the vision quest two. And uh, yeah, we need to do this mission here and this mission here while we're at war with Ming. So yeah, now it's pretty much a waiting game until Ming passes a reform. So not the usual five years, more like seven or eight years, something like that. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and do the very limited estate setup so we can do this mission later on and um then we'll see where we're at force limit is uh six no four and our national ideas are minus 10 percent fort maintenance which is actually pretty good plus 10 percent goods reduced super strong 15 percent manpower if we ever get there of course tolerance of the true faith is good unrest is good morale is great prestige stab discount attrition for enemies army tradition for metals plus 15 percent meow really good ideas all right very limited estate setup done we're doing it this way so we can uh, complete this mission so now we need to get stabbed from an event or just simply stab up what I'm also going to do, since we're kind of making money right here, is hire uh, no one. Okay, now a month has taken over. I forgot we were doing that. Nice Diplo rep, and let's get this eh, reinforced speed guy, I guess. And I'm going to focus on mill right here. So uh, force limit, what did I say? It's four. We're sort of still making money right here. Yeah, let me start building up my army, dude. Uh, free diplomats. One's going to spy on Ming. One's going to improve with Ayutthaya. Another one's going to improve with Oirat. And we got two free merchants. Where can I send them? Can you go to Siam? No. What about here? No. So yeah, let's just uh, collect in Canton and uh, Hangzhou for now. All right, I think I am going to go ahead and stab up. And now if we get these guys loyal by selling titles, right? Yeah, there we go. Sell titles. Now we can do this mission, dev discount and advisor discount. Excellent. We can uh, do that and do that as well. And now I can give these guys religious state right here. Let's give the nobles primacy as well. And let's give the merchants land and uh, indebted. There we go. Perfect. Now we can seize land as well. Nice. Ming actually passed her a form. Hmm, they don't usually do this, man. They usually get the rebels first and then pass her a form. Yeah, their army size and manpower has definitely already gone down. Yeah, I just I'm not used to it happening in this order. Let's see. I 
Let's see what happens. We got rightful ownership here. Oh, on the claim. I thought this could only happen for Chorus, though. Let's see if Ming accepts. Oh, they did accept. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay, sent a scornful insult to Ming. And now Ayutthaya, after they've grown a bit, will support my independence. Excellent. Will anyone else? No one for now. Their mandate is low, man. But you know, they still kind of have a little bit more armies and manpower than I would like. Okay, there's the nobles, too. I haven't seen any particular stacks. We can also take this mission, but I'm going to do it while we're at war. So we jump them another Miltech level. Also, I'm not Miltech 4, which I do need to be. Actually, a month has ticked over, and now we got all of these guys too. Did they stop being Ming tributaries? Is that the thing? No, it's not. But yeah, let's get Korea. Uh, who else? Khmer? Jeanju? Uh, <laughs> Fortune? Dude, you would think like Ming would be the hardest nation to get people to support your independence from, but no, it's the easiest. When have we ever had six nations supporting our independence? It's always like one to three. Yeah, let's wait for them to beat up these rebels or a couple of more rebels and we'll fight. I'll actually go ahead and raise army maintenance here, get the free company up and uh, recruit actually uh, one more infantry regiment and give our ruler milk command. Yeah, Ayutthaya has stopped being a Ming tributary. Excellent, there's Miltek 4 and... Diplotech 4? Yeah, yeah. So let's wait for them to beat this stack and I'll declare. Okay, perfect. Now I know their army is right next to me, but no big deal. Let's go ahead and declare independence on Ming right here. All of these boys will support us and it's going to be super, super easy. And while we're in this war, I'm going to get Miltech 5. I already set everything down here as a province of interest. And uh, there's the declaration on Ming, man. It's so fun. Chinese warlord or Chinese kingdoms or whatever you call them. I bet all of them are super fun, man. Probably the most underrated region and countries or country type to play as in u4 right now so let's go ahead and run away to here and then we'll come back and beat up ming okay so i did actually just lose a battle and ming are at miltek 4 but now i can do this and boom just like that uh we gain miltek 5 which is really really strong uh yeah we're pretty much toasting ming right here even though i lost a couple of battles myself it's already time for a tier 2 cover forum i'm gonna go strengthen right here we do need the manpower yeah pretty soon we're gonna wrap it up i want to get max um war score okay there's pretty much a hundred percent on ming now uh i won't give anything to my allies these guys over here will break their alliance with me because they border ming and i won't give them anything but i will stay allied to ayutthaya and khmer i think yeah uh, just like I did last time with Dolly. So uh, let's go ahead and peace out Ming right here. Obviously, we're going to get independence and war reps. No point in taking their money because I don't really have a lot of participation. Most of the allies will get the money. So yeah, let's go ahead and do maybe something like this. Yeah, that is a lot of A, but really we don't care because it's only Ming that we're fighting. Uh, I think this should be enough for our first war right here. Yeah, do I have the admin points for that? I kind of do. So yeah, let's go ahead and peace out. That's the first war with Ming done. Excellent. All right, now we just got to wait for the truce. Now, since the Renaissance has spawned, I presume, yes, it has. I'm going to have my capital, which is also the gold mine, uh, in order to spawn the Renaissance. So, perfect. Lots of points on hand. Let's go ahead and do that. You know, Khmer called me into this war that they're in, but I refused. Look at who Ming is losing to, bro. To Khmer with 6k troops. And uh, who's their ally? Lan Na with 13k troops. Ming has 4k. Yeah. By the way, everyone broke their alliance with me. Daviet guaranteed me. I'm still allied to Ayutthaya. Pretty expected, man. Pretty expected. Ming is allied Korea and Solon now. Now, Korea might be annoying to take down, but yeah, it just is what it is, man. Pretty standard game. Still diving the capital, too. And actually, there's the Renaissance. Oh, nice. Now, we are going to suffer a bit on admin points here, man, because I do need to keep full stating everything, right? Everything from this first war and the next war, I think we'll get, like, whores and stuff like that when we use that CB. Uh, let's see, who do I have that CB versus? Unified China, right? Ooh, this is going to be a real problem. Now, as an animus nation, I wonder if we can do anything about that. Enforced interfaith dialogue. That's it, I guess. Um, There should be another one for the clergy, too, I think. Uh, Where is it? Nah, there isn't. Now, to expand here, I do border dive yet. Me and Ayutai can very easily take them down, along with Lan Na here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it later, though. Yeah, choose with Ming 72. Yeah, I can definitely chill for six more years. Okay. Income is actually insane right now, thanks to this gold mine. I did it up to uh, 11. I could convert to Buddhism here, but... What's the point? Dude, it's gonna be like rebel paradise for the entirety of the freaking campaign. This <laughs> this is a really big problem for us. I have to go religious. I can't do it for my first one, though. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, Ming has actually started blowing up. That's not something I expected. At least not now. Chi has popped out, so. Yeah, these guys are gonna keep getting weaker. Hopefully, I don't get disconnected from some Ming land. Like, 
I don't know, they get left with this province, but I want everything down here and I gotta go through everyone, but even then, it's not gonna be a problem. Dev, looking pretty decent. Obviously, we're gonna, you know, accomplish all of, all of our goals. There it is, there's Admin 5, thanks to an event for 50 Admin points. What do we go with for our first idea group here, man? Religious would actually be so good for the first one, it's just we're gonna be coring so much of the stuff we take from Ming. We're gonna be lobbing out real hard with this CB. Actually, I don't have the CB yet. I don't know, man. I don't know, really in a conundrum here. Hmm. <laughs> human is yeah and i'm not gonna focus here because i can't okay uh this doesn't really matter too much but i'll take it okay second war versus ming time they're like to korea which is actually gonna make things annoying but yeah me and Aitai can easily do this so let's go ahead and declare no unified china but we will be using the take mandate of heaven cb so we need to occupy beijing for that uh can i go straight to beijing from here I can't. Kind of a weird war because Korea has a pretty powerful army and there's so many separatists that Ming has. So maybe this wasn't the right time to declare, man, but whatever. Hmm. Well, Chicago got pieced out. That's not good. Actually, luckily, I can knock out Korea. So, yeah. Okay, very stupid war, mainly because my army is so small and they rented this stack from Diviet. I only have 60% war score here, so uh, yeah, let's peace out before they get Beijing back. I'm gonna take all of this right here, which is only 52 war score, but uh, almost 100 over extension. There we go, that's done. Let's go ahead and lower war exhaustion and uh, go ahead and pour all of this up. Well, there's the second main war done, man. Nice, we can fight Ning and Wu here pretty soon too. But yeah, with that, we're already a great power here, man, with only 286 dev which is pretty unusual ming is still massive though hopefully they continue blowing up uh, getting religious here was a mistake honestly um i can't even give out enforced unity i have to take uh this away here three cover form time i'm gonna go with uh this one for the autonomy change all right i cord stuff up still fighting rebels even though i have such a good um national arrest uh modifiers but yeah let's take learn ning right here unify china all right, Ning has been defeated, and now that I know how the Unified China CB works, basically you gain a core on every province you occupy, uh, I'm starting to love this CB a lot. No admin points. See, that's why I want Ming to blow up. I'm gonna continue pushing here immediately by declaring on Wu. And there's uh, six more provinces for us for free. Okay, any reason to fight anyone else? Let's take a look at AE. Nah, only Ming is mad, of course. Um, I could uh, end my truce with Ming by fighting these guys, but it's gonna be up in four years anyway. So yeah, no point in doing anything. Let's chill. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone religious, bruh. Honestly, we should have just, you know, <laughs> we're never gonna fix this. There was no point. I've already committed, though, so frick it. You know, Ming has actually recouped a bit, man. They're back to gaining mandate. Yeah, interesting. You know, while we're at peace, I'm spending my free time uh, by improving my nation economically. Still not even admin tech 6, bro. Ugh. It's time to fight Ming again. Now they've allied Diviet as well. Once again, the most annoying things here are fighting Korea and Diviet and not Ming. But uh, yeah, let's declare Ming once again, take Mandate of Heaven. Once again, call an Ayutai. I've allied Korea as well once again, but uh, I don't know. How much favors do I have with these guys? Seven favors. Yeah, I can't really do anything right there, at least not now. So there it is. Let's knock out Diviet first. Knocked out Diviet, and a good thing when fighting Ming is I'm getting these forts basically like there are no forts. Their uh, fort defense is super, super weak. Uh, my siege ability, I guess, is good, and also I'm bombing every fort, so yeah. Yeah, I think Ming got decked on by, yeah, these guys as well. Okay, we're done with Ming once again. Now I'm gonna take a couple of these provinces right here so I can get connected to Qi so we can potentially... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven provinces? No way it costs that much. What am I, over gov cap? I'm not even over gov cap. Why is it so expensive? How dev are these? These are actually like really dev <laughs> I guess. Nanjing and Yanju at least. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. All right, now we conquered South China, Porcelain Tower, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I wish Ming blew up so we can use the Unified China CB on them as well. Look at this, man. Yeah, not good at all. We're using so much admin points to core, we, we just can't, you know, prosper in the other areas, I guess. Now, while we're here, boys, and we have some downtime, let me uh, let me make a couple of things clear. So, usually at the end of releasables videos, right, I ask you, what should I do? Let's say, I don't know, we're playing as Bulgaria. I ask you, what should I do, like, uh, as Bulgaria to break free from the Ottomans, annex them, and become a great power? And I ask uh, the same thing uh, last time when we rolled Meow, and all of the suggestions, and this is not just for this video, it's usually for releasables. You guys are like, do this, do that, become a cat as Meow, because Meow, now, I get the puns are funny, but you guys are telling me gold 
holds as releasables for A to Z. In releasables, we only gotta become a great power and make our former overlord not exist. So what the suggestions should be are like, well, as Meow, once you break free from Ming, you know, you should dev the gold mine, try and get these guys to support you, then you can expand in this region, blah, 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 do that, do that, right? It's not goals like an A to Z, just, just making things clear there for a, a lot of you guys that uh, don't really understand what I'm saying. So uh, yeah, not gonna become a cat uh, shape as Meow. Sorry, this ain't A to Z. <laughs> now, colonialism has spawned the cheapest province. The dividend seems to be Macau right here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and bump it up to a level two center of trade first. Uh, activate encourage development. Let's go ahead and uh, dev it up a couple of times. Then we can expand infrastructure. Now let's push for colonialism. We're stacked on points here. This might even be a one shot. And it is. Yeah, it really sucks that no one else is fighting Ming and that they haven't continued to blow up. That means uh, just more work for me. But uh, listen. When have I ever shied away from hard work? I'm gonna be honest every day, but hey, <laughs> I guess that's why I started making videos. Even though we're sucking on admin and tech and stuff like that, uh, conversion's going okay. <laughs> and by the way, I know we could have converted to confusion and stuff, but uh, why? Why make it easier when it can always be harder? One good thing about not having anything stated is that we can uh, embrace uh, what you call it, colonialism pretty quickly here. We don't gotta wait for it to spread. Nice, man. What's our dev? 604, that's pretty good. Once again, our truce with Ming is up. Let's continue pummeling them. Uh, take Mandate of Heaven once again. We hit the Age of Reformation. Now we can start our Golden Era and we can enact a government form. Let's go with that. I'm an idiot. I should have actually gone with this. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the one I should have gone with. Whatever. Nice. Nice. All right. I had to dart to Beijing there. I was hoping to keep those rebels alive, but I try to beat them up. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's just take whatever here, man. Honestly, look, I can take so little. It's just so much overextension, dude. I'm getting pretty sick and tired of this. I'm not going to. Are, are there guys that I can release, though? Man. Liang. Okay, I'm gonna take all of this and see who I can release. All right, sweet. I popped out Xi and Liang, and now we're not overextended, and I only need to core this up. There's another mission, though. Conquer Xinan. All right, now there's no way they can handle these Jin separatists, right? Finally, someone else declaring on them, man. <laughs> Everyone declaring on them. All right. All right, boys. If we have a little bit of luck here, Ming might just stop existing. Uh... Actually, no, no one can take this right here, so... Yeah, positive development, finally. Jesus Christ, we've expanded so much, we're like a thousand dev. Well, not really, but... I actually didn't think we would get to Admin 7 at all. <laughs> uh, we don't really need a mill one here. We don't really need nothing here, if I'm being honest. Uh... Okay, uh, Korshin ended their war with Ming, took a couple of provinces. Now Chagata has declared on them as well. Yeah, if, if they don't stop existing after all of these wars are done, I, I'm going to be very surprised. Meanwhile, we're looking great on the Great Powers list. Number three, uh, actually number four, we got uh, everyone else below us has colonialism embraced already. So uh, everything is a check right here, boys. All we need is Ming to stop existing. Meanwhile, I've half stated everything and I'm just slowly, very slowly <laughs> coring away. Someone else ended their war too? I think it was Qi. Yeah, I think Qi expanded just now. Yeah, okay. The Yangtze River Flood. Ah. Oh, uh, okay, almost everyone's called it. The only nation that's still fighting Ming is Mongolia. Or wait, how is that? The Mongol Reconquest. Oh, there's just a tributary of Chagata, actually. Oherat doesn't even exist. Uzbek, I guess, from Bukhara. Lame. Uh, yeah, man. All Mongolia has to do here is take three provinces and, uh, it's gonna be a wrap. <laughs> Took these guys long enough. I wish they did it earlier. We got a pretty big Japan here, too. Yeah, it was two nations splitting the island in half. Now it's just one. They have declared on Tung Ning as well, so pretty interesting right there. Let's rival Chagatai and not core anything. Let's go ahead and beat up some rebels while we're waiting. And we are done waiting because Mongolia has full annexed Ming and let's go ahead and check and see. Wait, where can I find Ming cores? There's one and it's grayed out, of course, because Ming, well, our former overlord doesn't exist anymore. And uh, after previously becoming a great power with colonialism embraced with someone with colonialism below us, now uh, we also accomplished our other goal of making our former overlord not exist. And with that, this challenge is a success. But yeah, there you go, man. Start off as a meow in these couple of provinces right here. And even though you guys suggested so many goals last time, like I said earlier, this isn't A to Z. That's not what we do in this show. Here we just do what I just said we do. And uh, yeah, start off pretty normally. Ming passed a reform early on. Got Ayutthaya and five other nations to support me. It seems that Ming went from the hardest nation to break away from to the easiest, man. Because you can get so many of these guys to support you. Ran through these nice starting missions right here. Amazing Chinese warlord 
sword starting missions the chinese kingdom government is also excellent strengthen all privileges centralized monarchical strengthen clergy privileges and uh, we didn't even get through all of the meow ideas which are actually really good i do recommend you guys give these guys a shot as well we started off with the gold mine dev did drop right here 36 dev and after that slow and steady expansion down in the south i thought we were going to fight only ming for the entirety of the campaign but no we did end up fighting uh who did we fight over here like ning and someone else i don't know but it was two guys that we full annex after that took like 200 over extension from fighting ming but luckily it popped out Shi and liang who are my vassals and now this is what the region of china looks like chagatai mongolia some of the jurchen guys have pushed into it and we do have a couple of guys popping out of ming as well but overall really nice campaign and never struggle with money due to the gold mine that we started off with i did have a little force limit problems earlier on not manpower force limit problems but uh we did manage to handle that as well the only mistake i feel like i made this campaign is going religious it just stopped us from advancing to admin seven and getting our second idea group and stuff like that so really i think uh, if i did this again i would just suffer through the religious disunity penalties and just keep beating up rebels because uh, well i've been doing that anyway for the entirety of this campaign uh did build buildings as well you know look at all the marketplaces all the workshops all the churches not too many i guess but uh oh well and we never even established a navy but now we're number five on the great powers list with colonialism embraced and uh you know we beat up our overlord and stuff like that so this is a very very fun game and i actually really really look forward to playing uh more ming releasables like i said at the start of the video uh probably one of the most fun and most underrated regions and nation types to play as right now so definitely go ahead and give uh, some of the Chinese warlord nations a shot. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Meow in Releasables has been a success. And that has been Meow in Releasables. Now let's spin the wheel and see which nation we're going to play next time, because I'm still stuck on Corfu and Patiala. All right, all right, here we are in the Wheel of Pain. Let's click to spin and see which nation we're going to get. Let's see, what do we have right here? Uh, This could be weird. Yeah, I'm down for something like that. And the next time we're going to have to play Demok. I don't even know what that is. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what I should do as Demok to break free from whoever and to become a great power and make the Overlord not exist. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.